What's up? It's Random Knox. Got another tutorial for you. We're going to wrap machine and Pro Tools. Let's check it out. So the first thing you want to do is open a blank session. Inside of Pro Tools, you come up to track, you hit new. You're going to make a stereo instrument track. Hit this plus sign. Then you're going to make stereo auxiliary track. And then you're going to type in how many you need. Once you do that, you hit create. I'm not going to do that because I already have one open. It'll drop down. It'll look like that. Then you want to go into your inserts and find your machine plugin. Right there. Good to go. And then you want to find the session inside a machine that you want to route through Pro Tools. So you come over here. You could open and look for it. Maybe it's a recent one, whatever the case. So once you do that, you want to make sure you change the BPMs of the session and Pro Tools because machine will be reading that tempo now. So I changed it, made it 80 because that's actually the tempo of the machine project. Hit OK. OK, so now we want to come over to our auxiliary tracks that we created and we want to route machine into each one of these. So we're going to go into the inputs, go to plugin, machine, and we're going to start at external two. External one doesn't exist because it's up here in machine. So then you go to auxiliary two, plugin, three. Auxiliary three, external four. Move right on down the line like I did. What is it? We got eight down here and nine. So depending on how many sounds you want to route, that's how many you're going to create. Then you want to come over to your machine plugin. And there's a couple of ways you could do this over here, but this is how I like to do it. You could come right in here to the mix window. You could also do it from here too, but we'll do it this way. So here are your groups. If you double click on the top of any of them, it'll show you the volume of the actual group. If you double click again, it'll show you each individual track. On the bottom here, you'll see where it says group. This is what you want to click on. And like I said, external one is taken up already by machine. So we started two. So I'm going to send my kick through two and it should come up here. And we have a snare. We'll go three and we'll just follow it in numerical order. Right on down six, seven, eight, nine, and so on. However many you have. All right, so now when I hit play, they should come through. There it is. You see them right here. Now, another cool thing is you could undo what you did here. I'll do that quick. Put them back to group. So now there should be no sounds coming out, right? But if you double click on it and it shows you the output of the whole group as a whole, you could actually route these individually. So if you want to make the sample external two, the drums external three, the bass on four, and the instruments on five, they'll be separated on these four tracks here. It's really that easy. It's nothing to it. So what I like to do too sometimes. All right, so now we're back to normal. We're not getting any sounds because nothing's routed. Say I just have this one sample in the first group. I'll come in here. I could put it on two. So now it'll come through that first track. All right, and then. That's external two. I could go to the next group and pick up where I left off. So this could be external three, external four. So you could route all the groups, pull out the individual sounds, and route them all across Pro Tools.
if you want, you could actually output those auxiliary tracks into audio tracks and just record them right into Pro Tools. All right, there it is. How to route machine in Pro Tools. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Oh, my God.